Hi, this is David from Critical Trading and in this video you will learn everything you need to know about mean reversion trading strategies. I will explain what the mean reversion trading strategies trade in markets, what are their key characteristics and share free common tools to time your mean reversion trades. On top of this, I will show you a couple of trades and an equity curve of one of my algorithmic mean reversion strategies I trade live in my own portfolio. Let's have a look at a model market to define precisely what mean reversion trading strategy is. The price action structure of the market we're looking at here is a range structure. What's visible here is that the market creates these price swings and it goes sideways. Occasionally, market gets close to either the high of this range or its low, both indicated by horizontal lines. As long as the market is in range, there's a high likelihood that it will reverse back into it. This process can be repeated a number of times until the market makes a breakout of this range and starts trending for a while. I've got a video on this topic already where I talk about how the market structure is created in much more detail. I'll link in the description if you'd like to learn more. The mean reversion trading approach aims to exploit this phenomena of market trading in a temporary price range and the price reverting back to its average or mean, hence the name mean reversion. There are a number of tools to measure how far the price is from this average and whether it's likely to revert back. I will show you three of them shortly. To visualize this, a mean reversion trading strategy would aim to sell if this market got close to the high of the current range and buy somewhere close to the bottom of this range. In both of these cases, the mean reversion trading strategy aims to trade against the short term price direction and speculates that the price will quickly revert back to its previous range. This is fundamentally different to a trend following approach. A trend following strategy would be looking to sell at the breakout of this price low where it would speculate that the breakout will result in a new trend forming in the market. Let's have a look at a risk profile and the characteristics of a typical mean reversion trading strategy. The graph on the screen shows distribution of profits and losses. As visible on the graph, there are more profitable trades than losing ones. We can see that this green part of this graph is bigger than the red one. However, this goes hand in hand with the fact that the profitable trades are typically smaller than losing trades. We can see that most winners are in between 0 to 10%, but losing trades are bigger. We can see that some outliers are minus 20% or more. This is called a negative skew, meaning that the profit distribution is skewed to the negative area, which translates into having lots of small winners with occasional big losses. This kind of profit distribution is typical for mean reversion strategies. They normally have high win percentage, even more than 70% in some cases, but this goes hand in hand with the average losing trades being significantly bigger than the average profitable trade. This is just how it works in, in trading and in the markets in general. There's always a trade-off for anything you do. And so it's wise to think about this when you build your trading strategies or even just when doing research. Another characteristic of mean reversion strategies is that they normally have relatively high frequency of trading signals when compared to trend following, for instance. This is due to the fact that successful mean reversion approaches aim to trade smaller movements in markets and so they keep their trades open for a relatively short time. Trend following, on the other hand, aims to hold its profitable positions for longer periods to allow for the trend to develop and capitalize on it. Logically, mean reversion strategies are profitable in mostly sideways markets and losing trending markets. Common approach in algorithmic trading is to implement various filters to determine whether the market is trending or trading sideways to try filtering out mean reversion signals against a strong underlying trend, for example. I myself have a couple of mean reversion strategies in my own portfolio and they stop taking any new trades when the market starts trending down. Before we get any further, make sure to download my ebook. It's completely free and it has been read by more than 8,000 people to date with overwhelmingly positive reviews. In the ebook, I discuss common mistakes made by most traders and how you should start approaching trading differently to them in order to maximize your odds of success. Click the link on the screen or in the description to get your free copy. Now let's have a look at three different market timing tools that are commonly used for mean reversion trading strategies. The first one is the standard deviation that measures how far the current price is from its mean or average. Let's just use one standard deviation or one sigma as the reference point. This level is shown by this shaded area above the price chart and below the price chart as well. The way this would be used for mean reversion trading is to sell when the price gets to one standard deviation level above it, so here or buy when it gets to the level below it, here. 
These levels are drawn on this chart for illustration purposes only, but you get the idea. Sell or buy when the prices deviate from the standard price. There's one tool that's quite popular, especially in systematic trading industry, that calculates just this. It's uh, Bollinger Bands, you've probably heard of. The second way to time mean reversion entries is to use local short-term price highs and lows as entry points, where you sell when the market breaks highest high over specified number of bars, like here for instance, and you buy when the market breaks below the lowest low. This is what I use in one of my algo strategies I trade on daily timeframes in futures markets. I'm going to show you an example setup of this strategy and its equity curve shortly. And the last way to time mean reversion entries is to simply look at the moving average, indicated by this purple line, and enter against the shorter momentum in the market when the price gets too far from the moving average. So at this point, the price is stretched too far from the moving average, and so this would be a point at which you sell. And similarly, at this point, price stretch too far below the moving average, a mean reversion long entry. Let's have a look at an example. This is one of my mean reversion algo strategies I trade live in my own portfolio. By the way, it's very similar to what I publicly described in one of my recent videos, link in the description if you want to learn more. This strategy is using the lowest low over a certain number of bars to enter the market. The buy signal got generated here when the lowest low got broken and the exit signal got generated here when the market got to the other side of this current price channel. So as you can see, this strategy only trades very small market moves movements, but that doesn't matter because that's all that's needed for successful mean reversion trading strategy anyway. The second buy signal is here, again breakout of local price low used as an entry, with the exit at the other side of the channel. And this is how the equity curve of this strategy looks when traded only on three different futures that are not very intercorrelated. Its equity curve confirms the characteristics of a typical mean reversion strategy. We can see that it's got lots of small profitable trades here when the equity goes up very quickly, but this is then followed by a small number of bigger uh, losing trades. Again, I've publicly shared this strategy just recently where I've implemented it into my own portfolio with only a couple of tweaks. And this concludes this video about mean reversion trading strategies. Hope you enjoyed it and took some valuable insights for your own trading. David, Critical Trading, signing out.